Welcome to Alcatraz. Enjoy your tours, take your time, plan your escape. You have now entered America's Club Fed, former home of Al Capone, Creepy Alvin Carpus, assorted other notorious gangsters. Welcome to The Rock. We were supposed to be escape proof. We locked up at 5.30 at night and they didn't get out till 7.15 in the morning. A large sentence. I think the average sentence was 30 years. All four men were housed in B Block. The England brothers next door to one another, Frank Morris and Alan West, were a few cells along. The first challenge was how to get out of their cells. And, uh, I imagine after uh, they'd wait till the music hour was out know, and the guys were playing all their instruments, it would cover. The men chipped away until they were able to get into a shaft that ran behind the cells. There they set up a workshop, making the tools they'd need, as well as false grills to cover the holes. I don't think anyone actually knew when they were going. The night they chose was June the 11th, 1962. At 10 o'clock, the men put dummy heads into their beds to cover their escape. Three of them made it into the shaft, but this was the first time Alan West had tried. According to what I heard, there was a pipe, and he couldn't get out of his cell. West was left behind while the others climbed up onto the roof. They uh, went across the top of the roof. There's some pipes going down there, big drain pipes and so forth. From there, the men got over the barbed wire fence and headed down into the water. Their escape wasn't discovered until the following morning. Here comes Sarge Hutton. As soon as they discovered that there were three dummies in the cell house, <laughs> they called my father. Immediately then, there was the siren, which did wake me up. And I, I, I got up, I put my robe on, I walked down the stairs, and my mother met me on the stairs, and she said, there's been an escape. Escapees are Frank Lee Morris. It was one of the biggest uh, manhunts since the Lindbergh baby kidnapping. Air, land, and sea. But no bodies were ever found. Postcards from South America sent to the warden and the FBI were used as proof that the men had survived. The family members over the years have have seen, uh, you know, heavily made up women with veils and hats at funerals that they don't know who they are and it could be <laughs> the Anglin brothers in drag. I mean... <laughs> but despite this, only five years ago, U.S. Marshals produced photographs of how the escapees might look today. Well, they're now in their late 60s, early 70s. Um, if they're out there, the warrant's still good for these individuals. Should they wish at this point to uh, turn themselves in, we'll be more than happy to talk to them.